Tai Chi is a mind-body exercise. It's a really uh, slow, gentle, repetitive, a very relaxing form of exercise. So it lends itself for people of all ages and abilities to do, and people with dementia can do this as well. We were really interested to see if Tai Chi helps improve balance and prevents falls among people with dementia. This is an important issue because people with dementia are twice as likely to be falling, twice as likely to have an injury from these falls, and their recovery rate is much poorer than people that don't have dementia of a similar age. So we did a randomised control trial. So this means you get a group of people and half of them uh, did the Tai Chi. They came to a class every week and practiced at home. The other half did no Tai Chi and they just carried on their usual routines as they did. And we followed these people up for six months. And what we found was the Tai Chi was something really enjoyable for people to do. They enjoyed coming to the classes, they enjoyed doing the Tai Chi and meeting other people in the same position as them. And we saw that the people in the Tai Chi group, they maintained a good quality of life, whereas people that were not doing Tai Chi, their quality of life came down. We found that Tai Chi was something that was really safe. There was no problems at all, people doing it in classes or at home. The carers were able to bring people along with no increase in stress or burden on them, which is a really important finding. Now, this would need to be confirmed definitively in a much larger study, but it showed real promise that we were reducing the number of falls in the people that were doing Tai Chi. I've always believed in Tai Chi, and I want to pass this message on that Tai Chi does help people with dementia, and also for their carers. You're relaxing, it's like a moving meditation. That's how I always put Tai Chi. I've done it for 19 years and I, and I love it. I was particularly interested in how it was dealing with both the physical and mental well-being of people who live with dementia and indeed their carers. I, I think there may be more that can be done to improve their physical and mental well-being in the longer term. I strongly believe, being a carer and seeing people with dementia and memory problems, that Tai Chi can only be a positive move forward to help that individual empower themselves from the isolation that they find themselves in. I, and alongside many others, have a negative attitude to dementia, whereas today I feel much more positive as a result of what I've heard. Next piece of research really be looked to find out how Tai Chi is reducing falls, if it's not doing it through balance, is it doing it through the relaxation of mindfulness, muscle strength, so it could be a range of things that we need to look at and to do some more work to, to really confirm that it is reducing force because if it is then this is something quite big and this could be something that could be rolled out across the country so everyone can have access to do it um, on the NHS because then you'd be able to do this to prevent people having a hip fracture and turning up to A&E and of course keeping a good quality of life among people with dementia.